must say, sir, the construction's coming along brilliantly. Indeed, Toby. I can't wait for the opening ceremony in two months. Neither can I. So, uh, we were getting a new engine today, is that right? Yes, indeed, Toby. A London Brighton and South Coast Railway E2 tank engine. And an E2 tank engine, sir. But I I've heard they're not the best performers. That is correct, Toby. But I can assure you, this engine here, who's called Thomas, is a specially modified E2. I've heard from the buyers he's actually quite a good performer. That's good to know, sir. Ah, and here he comes. Sorry I'm late, sir. You're not late, Thomas. You're right on time. Oh, that's a relief. Why so? I was late leaving Barrow due to some faulty points. Well, you're here, and that's all that matters. Yes, indeed. Welcome to the railway, Thomas. Thank you. And you're Toby the tram engine, right? That is correct, Thomas. A tram engine, indeed. Quite old-fashioned. Excuse me? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Very well. That's enough, Thomas. Now, I want you to drop the coaches off at the sheds. It's just down the line. Get going, please. Yes, sir. <coughs> Dramage indeed. Thomas, welcome to the railway. Oh, hello. Jeez, and I thought Toby looked old. I would keep that down if I were you, Thomas. But it's true. You're the boxiest engine I've ever seen. Is that a bad thing by your definition? Well, it shows your age. And old engines aren't particularly liked on the railways today. You don't know that for sure, Thomas. Fine. You want tea kettle instead? Ugh, I've had enough. My name's Clive, by the way. I didn't ask. After quite a rough start, Thomas was put to work on the main line, which in the beginning proved to be equally as rough. He didn't know a lot about railway safety, so whenever he was going to a place, he went there full speed which frustrated the other engines. And not only that, whenever he was at a building site and not testing the speed limit of the track, the workmen praised him for his speed, saying that the work was finished up that much quicker. Unfortunately, the praise went to his smoke box and he became increasingly more arrogant and rude, which was quickly becoming too much for the other engines. How many times do I have to tell you, Thomas? Safety is always the number one priority. In the modern world, Clive, efficiency is way more important in order to stay afloat. Not like you antiques would know that. You date back to the time where safety on the railway wasn't fully developed. Your point with that statement being? My point being that railway safety wasn't fully understood, which meant that you were too cautious about it. 
Since it's fully understood by real engines now, I know when to stop myself and not having to be constantly reminded of it by you tea kettles. You don't have the experience with railway safety, Thomas. You are, after all, only one year old. Which is plenty of time to learn what I need to know, but learn it from real engines, not you old ones. You only slowed construction down. We're more capable than you think, Thomas. I highly doubt that. I just have to keep up my efficiency, and then you'll all be sent off the island forever. Alright, that's crossing the line. You failed the sign of an engine. You twit. <sighs> Way to go, Thomas. Hey, I'm just stating the facts. But in a very disrespectful way. Pfft, whatever. I really hope we could go longer without it. But I don't think we have many other options left. I agree. I think it's time we used the method. Excuse me? What method? It's a method we learned from some engines on the mainland that they use to talk sense into engines like Thomas. And how does it work? Well, it's actually quite simple. Slowly add more and more weight to the train the engine's pulling, which will make them overestimate themselves and cause them to mess up. Right, but isn't that going to cause problems? So, we feel like it's the best way to talk sense into him, sir. Clive, you know how much I'm against causing accidents on purpose? Yes, sir. Fully aware of that. But, in this situation, I'll allow it. Really, sir? Yes. Since I agree with what you're saying, it's probably the best way to talk sense into him. But, what about all the backlash this will cause? I know a thing or two about talking to the higher-ups. I should be able to avoid any major problems we might come into by doing this. Thank you so much, sir. No problem, Clive. It's for the railway's own future. Come on, let's go! Well, it's a start. Let's just see how this progresses. And it went as expected. Thomas's trains got increasingly heavier and heavier and he did notice it, but brushed it off, thinking that he just needed an overhaul. After about a week of adding more and more weight to his trains, the four engines would stop adding weight but keep the existing weight and begin to ask Thomas if he needed a helping hand, which he rejected every single time he was asked wouldn't be long before things would go south for Thomas. 
Are you absolutely sure about this, Thomas? It's a very heavy train. Yes, Clive. I'm more capable than you think, you know. I'm warning you. You're gonna- I don't need any advice from a tea kettle. Suit yourself. <laughs> Thinks he knows everything. I'll show him. What a beautiful day it is today! I got a bad feeling about this Todd. You and me both, David. Who would have thought pulling such a long train would be so easy? <sighs> okay. Maybe I spoke too early. Remember to stop at the top, Thomas. Yeah, yeah, I will. Thomas? What? Oh, sh- Close. Thomas, you're in Brazil. You're supposed to stop at the top of the hill. I'm sorry, Todd. I'm deeply sorry. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing there? I lost control on the hill when I was going down it. You didn't stop at the top? No, I didn't. And why not, Thomas? Sir? What? I... Uh, Thomas? I thought I had everything under control, that I could easily break the train to a stop if necessary. And looking back, I've had nothing under control since I got here. But a jerk all this time. Neil, I'm sorry for calling you all those horrible things. You know a thing or two about keeping order when working. All of that comes from experience, Thomas. And I accept your apology. Really? Yes. Since you're very young, I understand why you acted the way you did, and I see that you're ready to change that. If you need any help or advice, you know who to ask. Thank you, Neil. And in that case, would you be a kind chap and doublehead this train with me? Absolutely, Thomas. Thank you. And, sir, I'm sorry for all the trouble I might have caused during my time here. That's alright, Thomas. Just listen to the other engines, and you'll become a true asset to this rail. Yes, sir. Don't worry, I won't let you down. Thank you, Thomas. When the other engines heard the news, they celebrated the occasion. The method had worked. When Thomas returned to the sheds that night, he made sure to apologize to all the engines and promised that he would be a better engine from that point on. And he was right. With Thomas now working much better together with the other engines, the remaining construction of the railway sped up drastically. So much so, that just a week after Thomas's incident, they would begin to do something crucial when constructing a railway. But they wouldn't do it alone.